<laughs> Hello sure everybody, they... welcome to the round of 16, like the final round of 16 match between Aldrea and his Necromantic and Andy Devo and his Necromantic teams. Um, Aldrea has a much better team, but Andy Devo has a wizard and uh, in the booth with me is Dimmy G and Purple Chest. Hello. 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 What an absolute treat. Uh, Andy Devo, one of the best Necromantic coaches there is on tabletop very very handy with them in the ccl format too uh, andrea has the much better team and is also no slouch as a coach this could be an absolute feast for the necromantic lovers yeah does, does get hit by a rock <laughs> <laughs> not removed but at least but yeah does mess up his uh yeah, yeah messes up his blocking pattern for the first turn but he'll still get his three blocks in on the line of scrimmage they might have to uh, use his wrestle there yep does so and it's the it's horrible to say, isn't it? Because it will have messed up his his opening and stabilising turns. But it's the least disruptive time to have a stun because it's at least back in the centre of your line next turn, ready to do its job. Oh man, but that double wrestle though does mean there's yeah. Perhaps we won't see a blitz forward. Perhaps this is all yeah. about stabilising now. But then if you he, oh, he can't blitz with the wolf because he'll frenzy trap himself on the zombie. Yeah. Yes, you can't. There's no way to go in, really. I mean, no. I think you're better off not blitzing anyway. Honestly, I yeah. think you're better off not blitzing anyway after those two knockdowns and the stuns. Yeah, so me too. It might have saved him. That like that might have actually done better for him that that <laughs> happened so that he doesn't blitz. I mean, he, he doesn't that have a line of scrimmage. He has a white looking lonely. Yeah, I was gonna say someone's got to come and sort that white out. Way. And the problem is, is uh. He can't Perhaps really... he'll settle for a, a foul? I mean, can you foul anything as crap as a zombie when the benches are this deep? No, I no, wouldn't. No, no, no point. But what I'm worried about is he's going to put the flesh golem in and then the flesh golem's going to get hit. Yeah, I think, he, I think he should just not blitz. Yeah, I think it has to be a defensive turn. But Aldrea... Aldrea's got, like, a remarkably high win rate, but uh, he constantly does plays that I think are pretty bonkers. So, <laughs> you know, we might be surprised. <laughs> well, Hamath, with Kalorn stepping aside, I felt I should up my level of commitment. Ooh. I'm happy to leave you to Dimmy G, if you wish. He's an excellent commentator. With a fine strategic mind. Hey? <laughs> <laughs> Are you lost, PC? <laughs> no, he is. He is both of those things. I mean, he's also an idiot that can't express himself clearly most of the time, but <laughs> the two are not mutually exclusive. No, I just so we've seen him having to set up very, very deep here. Um, there's a bit of a gaping hole. I mean, if you don't mind bouncing off the zombies, you just got to move the wrestle piece out of the way. And if you yeah. get a power, you push the white as well. Yeah, and you've that's got incredible. a gaping hole all the way through, haven't you? Yeah, that's an incredible... And even on a push, you can bounce off it into a hole. Yeah, this guy should have been here, right? This guy should have been here. Yeah, and free up your line of scrimmage and calls at the same time. So, that's where I'd be looking at. Yeah, 100. 100%. <clears throat> it's going to be tough to do that, though, because uh, he might just be feeding something to the wolf. Well, necromantic players do love to hit with their wolves, but it's not always the right thing to do. Try telling and there's, them a, there's a pom white there that's begging for that job of smashing that wrestle zombie in the first. Hello, school. I'll be tempted to hit the dirty player, but. It's and the good thing about it is it splits the two wolves and the ball off from the other two zombies, so those zombies become very irrelevant to the play. It gets you into his backfield, and then as long as you're covering the other side, because the obvious move there is to cut to the left as we're looking at it. So as long as you've got the other white and the golem keeping that side honest, you've got him in a real spot. Yeah, it's a fantastic start for Andy with the, the rock taking down the golem and then the two wrestles taking down the two cards. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Gets the power as well. So yep, it's there if he move. wants it. So how much do you risk coming through here? Because even some of the zombies can come, can't they? Uh... Yeah. I mean, yeah. the, the one in the back certainly can. Ah, oh, he piles instead, okay. Well, gets numbers up. Still halted all the momentum of Andy's drive right now. This is how Andrea's drive. Andrea's drive. He starts up on the back foot. So, 11 against 10? Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? I think, I think we're going to see Andy, like, prioritise punching. Yep. 
And he, he does have to... deeper bench, and there is quite a nice foul here. If You're looking at the in. column. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm looking at Boris, the the wrestle um, guard zombie. Oh, it, oh well, you fouled yeah, that. Maybe yeah. not. I mean, you've got the other team messed up, haven't you? I mean, so I don't I'm hate fouling the white, but you've also yeah. got nobody left to foul now. He's moved, yeah, he's now the foul piece has already um, mm. done his work, hasn't he? Mm. Yeah, he's, look, he's just isolating. Uh, yeah, squishy. Pick, picking on the zombies for next turn. Is he even yeah. defending over the other side? I don't. I don't think so. Well, now he's got the golem tied where it is. They need to blitz that, that that zombie off to get the golem and the white moving, or they stand up and aren't doing anything this turn. Yeah, there's there's no way he's defending the side because they're, they're just going to get caught by this wolf. Aren't they? Yeah, you can just leave the golem more or less where it is, and there's there's probably nowhere they can go. Yeah, no, and yeah, I knew it was going to be defending the side. Yeah. He's very eaves face. Okay, he's just not. <laughs> Okay, not defending it at all then. No, yeah, no, I knew. Yeah, he's he's very he's very he plays very bangerly a lot of the time in Chalice. I've noticed. Uh, Dave, bangerly, bangerly, yeah. Well, Greedy I mean, Aldrea bangerly. does have the shorter bench with only two zombies as opposed to three sat there waiting to come in for the zombies that are being removed. Um, and I suppose if you start getting the numbers heavily in advantage to only one drive, that is a great position to be in, isn't it? And yeah, and, yeah, and I mean, Andy's got a worse team, right? So he's got a mm. high roll a bit, so. You know, this lets him try and high roll a bit. Like, he doesn't care if uh, Aldrea comes past him because he probably thinks that he can then force him in for an early score. So in the meantime, he just wants to smash things and remove as much as possible. It does seem a waste of the wizard though, doesn't it? Not not trying to defend. But then I guess it's only turn one, isn't it? So plenty of time to mount a defence later. This team is so strong, though, isn't it? And both wolves are really, really nice. The plus strength one is obviously a star, but the other one's really solid utility wolf. Plus agility ghoul has got no fat on him. He's exactly the skills you'd choose to have on him. Yeah. Two really nice golems. Properly developed block guard and mighty blow on both. Two sexy whites and a few sort of reasonable zombies to back them up. It's just lovely. But as always, if you take the ghoul out, there's no other real ball carrier. If you take one of the wolves out, then they can't cover the whole pitch with just one. Ooh, wow. 10. MV10? Yep. Yeah, and Aldrea choosing to try and rescue these two zombies. Interesting decision. Yeah, isn't it? Try to put the team, try to bring the gang back together, isn't he? Mm. And I suppose if he's really trying to rescue them, he might even dodge one off because they can't, they still can't do anything without a lot more support. Yeah, correct. He could put in the wolf, couldn't he, to assist there? But that's yeah. At the moment, on because at the moment he's got the wolf blitz into the white into the golem like Andy has, so. Well, he's got to remember, if he leaves Andy too little a defence to get through, then he can whiz the defence down and be all over this yep. yeah, ghoul oof. with his uh, with his wolf. Which, all right, doesn't have tackle, but it does come with frenzy. Oof, I don't know. Yeah, they all do. And then here we go, do, do, do you foul the fleshy now? Plus two. Might have to. This could be weak to a wizard here as well. It's interesting. Well, it's a, it's a lovely ball position, isn't it? Um, just far enough back that a fireball isn't going to hit the ball and the line defending it. Yep. Like, if he fouls and gets sent off, it could be weak, couldn't it? That's the thing. Whereas if he doesn't, yeah. it's pretty good. But if he gets sent off... This could Even be a, a stun tough. is excellent in terms of just gaining position. Mm. You know, you can leave it and swap sides, or you can go up that flank while it's stunned. Chooses just to leave it. Well, it is on a wolf! I, th I think the thing was the send off is like open. Yeah, up it's horrific, potential. isn't it? Yeah. I mean, the one thing I like about leaving it as well is that with the wrestle piece down right in front of it, there isn't the angle to leverage it out. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? So if it stands up, it's on the wolf, or it's dodging. Neither of which are good options. Yeah. Whereas if the the zombie to its left, as we look, had been standing. You could have hit that and used that angle to push him out onto the sideline, but away from the wolf. Well, he's up. 
I think we're seeing something coming in and getting hit on that that flank. Do you think so? But I think maybe, he might hit the stand firmer. Yeah, I think he might yeah. call might hit the stand firmer. I think he'll just max blocks. <laughs> Yeah, he might just max blocks and see if he can take on this line of scrimmage. It's a big, strong line, though. Particularly with that guard zombie, the one he's just knocked over, really, you know. Yeah, now he's going to come in for the white. He's going to claw mighty the stand firm white now. I don't know, he might, he might claw mighty the... Uh, he might just fleshy. knock it over. Oh, yeah, the column's yeah, there, isn't come it? for the column. Yeah. I mean, it's just horrible if you don't get the power. Yeah, I think that's too good to tell That's you. a nice block. Ballsy to get it done. See, if it if it doesn't go, you can then choose to put your blitz there or something. Mm. Disgusting power. <laughs> I mean, when you're behind, sometimes you have to move those 1 in 9s up for turn order from where you'd like them to really be. Just to see what happens, particularly on things like stand firm. Mm. Could be a foul here, couldn't there? The dirty players there, 3 assists. Yeah. On the flesh. Yeah, and he can, get, he can get round the back and then also be holding those pieces in place a bit. Mm. Or you can keep them to your side and just put the um, the foul in on the white, either of which are lovely fouls. Because that wolf is so quick as well, you can even pop him in on the corner as another assist on the white and give yourself still plus three on the white. Wow, he's yeah, fine with the coup. Yeah. Wow, okay, he really wants this foul then. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. But it does completely give up the golem, and he can't leave the other wolf there as well. He has to stand firm. Yeah, yeah he has to, yeah. Also, it keeps it on the zombie, which means it has to dodge off, which is still a 1 in 9 chance of failing. <laughs> oh! Oh, the oh. reroll! He is such a banger sometimes! <laughs> Get Gets it off! Oh. Brutal. He's going to dodge it. Isn't he? Regen fails. Maybe not. Maybe he's no, I don't it. think he's going to dodge it. No. Get that foul in. He can. He can really. Hang on a second. I'm only just sitting down from the. Oh, did you feel that tremor as the equity shook? <laughs> <laughs> well, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is one of those huge, huge removals. That golem. Yep. Massive equity shift. A little bit of a pronunciation joy for our, um, our American friends. There it is, of course, a golem, and you say it wrong. But I said it that way just to cheer you all up. <laughs> yeah, foul the other one. Yeah, I'd foul this rather yeah. than the line. But he's GFI. Particularly, particularly with one gone, if you get rid of both, it's... Oh, no, he still went for the white. Okay. Yeah, he had, he had GFI'd to assist the white, hadn't he? So. Well, then I don't like coming right around the corner and being still on the golem. Yeah. It gives lots of lovely options for getting the white out and attacking that. Dirty player piece, which weren't there otherwise. You can even put the wolf on it safely. You know, they, oof, don't like it. It's looking horrible for our draw. It is, yeah. It is. It's rapid. Well, I mean, there is still the wolf on this column over the other side. That gives some hope. He's gone from having a much better team to a team split in half, completely yep. based, and yep. against a wizard, and not yep. having the better team anymore because he's just lost his fucking. You know, he's lost the thing that 150 TV, hasn't he? Yeah. 170 TV he's just lost. I mean, luckily he's got a stand firm white that can pretty much do the same job, but he's he's right up against it right now. Yep, it's, it's, it's not over, but it's, it's... He needs a removal back, really. It's really bad, yeah, it's really bad for him right now. To the point where I'd cons... I mean, I think this column has to go. Well, the one on the right. Why I, yeah, I wouldn't have hit with that zombie because I'd have been fouling with it once I knocked that column over. Then are you blitzing with the show and fall mighty blow wolf? Yes. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, not like that though. Jesus, wet, that's not a good idea, is it? That doesn't have sidestep, does it, that goal? No. Oh dear. No, it really doesn't. But he, I mean, he can use the other wolf for the assist for the strong wolf or just go in with the strong wolf. Oh, he wants yeah. to hit the wall. Like, yeah, that's 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 yeah doesn't matter. Gets the pack. Gets it. This will be huge. Well, he does need a huge equity shift. Oh, this could be it. it. And now he's getting. <laughs> Absolutely <boat>. is. <laughs> wow! So he's four threeing away. I mean, this screams wizard to me. I don't know about you. Yep, Jim. 
yeah, I'd, I'd whiz here again. Like after, I'm scarred by my match against Sundin. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think I think a wizard here is pretty good. I, I mean, mean, the bolt, the bolt's fine. The fireball's fine. You could fireball the wolf, the white, and the two zombies. Um, and that that's just lovely. I mean, just hitting those is lovely. Yeah. Or you can fireball the ball, the white, and the two zombies. And that's good too. Or you bolting can... the ball's good. It's all good. Bol bolting the wolf is fine, is. isn't it? Yeah, bolting the front wolf or the back wolf, either one. Yeah. Either one gives you lovely, lovely things. But we're not seeing it. No. I mean, he is but in again, the dominant it, position, so like this Yeah, is it's one of those where the dominant position says keep the whiz then. Win yeah, without it's, it's whiz and have whiz as insurance goal. policy. 100% hmm. he's going to try and set the score. Oh, yeah, it's not hard either, is it? But you know, I can think of a recent game where someone had a dominant position, thought they could get the turnover without the whiz, and you know, perhaps they should have used the whiz. Yeah. I can't think what game you're relating to. I'm just <laughs> sure there was an example like that recently, did we? <laughs> yeah, so the board's the massively favourable for him, right now. Massively favourable. I mean, you've got so many lovely options here. It's almost hard to know what to do first. Yeah, There's so many lovely is... things you can do. I think you just start banging. Just start punching <laughs> things at the other end. You bang, you bang. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if he's regretting the extra assist on the foul now, because if he'd had that goal there as well, it'd have been incredible, wouldn't it? If like if this if this blodge step guard goal had been here this turn. Yeah, so I mean if he knocks that whole line of scrimmage over, he can still get involved. Yeah. But a bit, yeah. that doesn't seem massively likely at this point. Here we go, we're going for this one. Gets the yeah, doesn't get the pal. So into a one -er. No, no, he's got guard there as well. No, he's put it in so that there's guard in every step. Yep. Yeah, he should go back and right and then back and right again so he saves the goal. He should go, he should go anywhere as long as he can stay the goal. <laughs> yeah, back and right again, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that'll do, yeah. Yeah. yeah that's fine, it blocks access to the goal from the top side, mostly. One, two, I mean, he just four, gets five. spanked with my phone now, doesn't he? Yeah. I mean, it, actually, now the quick wolf can can get around there, can't it? I mean, yeah. I think this is safe. Yeah. But he's just going to hit the wolf instead. Yeah. This one's with tackle. If this wolf goes, this is really bad. Oh, oh, oh. oh okay. Yeah. yeah, he had to blitz the wolf, didn't he? Because he had to go and counter surf him, yeah. Yeah. Flip me. Absolutely what, dire for Aldrian now. What a start, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yes, I'm trying to find a good route forward. I'm really not seeing one. It's going to just be potato on the shrimp four wolf, surely. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's uh, completely screwed. Oh, now he's freed the ghoul as well. To no, he's, he's not. You're never completely screwed. I he's mean, he's supposed. really quite screwed. Yeah. I think the ghoul needs to drop back. It's not quite as rock solid as all of that, particularly not with an agility four ghoul. God, it's pretty fucking rock solid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay. And, oh, Jesus. And the stun there. Wow. <laughs> well, I mean, don't say it's over, but... Yeah. Did you just put them both, like, behind this guy? Uh, so I wonder if it's better just to put them both behind him, so that, like, you know, it's... He's Certainly one needs to drop back. Oh, punch him. Night, you just punch him. No, yeah, this well, is... Uh, better, yeah, you can hit him, okay. But he's, he's, he's dodge. It, it should still be fine. It's 30 percenter. And actually okay. gets him nearer to where I want him to be. Mm. No, just tag him. Okay. So you've got... No, I, you've preferred actually... I preferred here. Though. If you weren't going to hit him, I'd prefer just standing here and here. That's so what I was he's looking at. Uh, himself, yeah. And then you've got them both able to react anywhere as well, can't you? Whereas now he can dodge away and... and you've got to wrestle it. one die on the golem. And then your strength four can hit one of the wolves, providing you a, you know, a route up the flank for the other one, for the ghoul. Sit his best player with you, in... my... Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh. 
and that gets the stun. I don't see that being enough, really. He's going to dodge out, eh? No. Who gets the power on the ghoul? This was another bad thing about putting the ghoul in here, wasn't it? This possibility. Well, it was a wrestle piece, so, you know, a reasonable hit for him, yeah. yeah much, I much prefer these two back there. The other wolf's going to get done now. No, it's just it's one. a 1 in 6 dodge off because he's got no reroll left. Yeah, There's tackle on him. He's got to now, hasn't he? Put a little cage up with the white and the zombie. <laughs> Fucking horrendous. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's in loads if of If you make the dodge, you can at least cage this turn fairly effectively. But you want to, you don't want your super wolf getting surfed, which is really fucking no, likely No, which right is now, very so. likely. I don't know how, I don't know what you can do here. Well, not and retain the ball. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay, oh. That's, this, that's a plan. Well, he gets the pal. Oh, yeah. oh. Oh. Hey. Hey. Well, that's going to work, I think. Yeah, it I will. I don't think it's going to work at all. Well, yeah, because he can surf the ghoul anyway, can't he? He, he can surf the ghoul and back. the white. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he can surf pretty much. It, 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 yeah, it's it's not ideal. He can surf the ghoul and the white. Like, it's fucking... It's really fucking terrible. <laughs> well, no, he's made it harder now with the DP moving. It's he? not that hard. I mean, he's just he blitzes the DP and then he puts in two here and he surfs them both, doesn't he? Yeah. It's also incredibly easy to serve the wolf if you want to. Yes, that's the only thing that might save the ball and the white getting surfed is him wanting to serve the white. <laughs> surf the wolf instead, yeah, because it's a prettier surf. Um, yeah, but yes, that's, the, that's the ball and the white would be my... Push him there and there you go. Yeah. Yeah, ball and the, ball and the white for me. Yeah, you do the golem hit first, because if I... that works, you do a wrestle hit with the zombie, freeing up the zombie to come and assist on the... DP zombie, and then the white blitz as it drops into position. The other girl zombie drops into position on a single GFI, and then it, it just—it's—it's it's the easiest thing in the world. Yeah, he's got to get this cool down. He's got to get this white down first, doesn't he? Um, he doesn't not have first. To. He can just do. He can do other things. He's got another well, no, it, it, there's other ways of doing it. Yeah, so it's nice to do, but it's not a need to do. Yeah. The, the, the best way is yeah, is the is ghoul can come guy, and do the assist. Getting everything. <laughs> yeah. The ghoul can come and do the assist, it's fine. You just don't really want him to. He's <laughs> checking if he can also surf the flesh if it's in the cas box. <laughs> oh, he probably is going to just surf the wolf. No, is... Oh, he is surfing the wolf! I think this is. Andy! I think this is a mistake if that's what he's doing. It oh. might not be. Has he got. Oh no, he's okay surfing the ghoul this way. Oh no, I think that's okay. the doing it the other way. Yeah, I... Well... Oh, the problem with this is his own gonna wolf. Reroll it this time. Oh god. Well this is an automatic surf of Andy's wolf. Oh no, because it's sidestep yeah, Andy's side wolf. Step, yeah, yeah. Uh, so Andy's wolf is safe, okay. Yeah. And so is the goal. Yep. Yeah. I did prefer the double oh, serve, personally. Yeah, I preferred the double serve. <laughs> Funny that, isn't it? Funny watching Dave when he didn't go for the serve. <laughs> That's pretty weird. Well, like he went for the single serve rather than the double serve. Yeah, and to be fair, his play was probably safer. It just put his wolf in a bit of risk. I felt, but I hadn't realised that it was sidestep, so it's fine. Mm. And there he has, a dominant position and the ball, and still has Wiz in hand. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be 1 0 handy at the end of this. Mm. Drive. <laughs> Tough player. Yeah, I don't know what Aldrea does here. He uphills. Yep. It's that's the start of something kind of useful. He's now got two dies on the ball with his better wolf. He's going to need to power it on the very first hit, and then the dodge is going to be really fucking interesting. But you know, mm 
Oh dear. Okay. I was just hitting it with the white. Mm. He just. Oh no, you can't and stop it, can you? Oof. Hang on, <laughs> hang on, is this his ghoul and his wolf getting served? Um, oh no. Well, it it, it yes, really, really step. should be. He doesn't have sidestep, so yes, <laughs> correct. I mean, oh man. If it isn't, there's going to have to be some sort of steward's inquiry as to what drugs Andy's on or who's coaching for Andy. Yeah, cause... carry on, yeah. Oh, it might well, be, it might, okay, it might not be just well, those two, it might be all three, right? Because you can hit this guy yeah, and then, and then yeah. chain along him as well, so. We might see some kind of convoluted attempt to serve three players this turn. <laughs> but it's at least two. Oh my god. It's definitely at least two. I think you just take the two here, don't you? Yeah, he's... Uh... It's, it's two very oh. nice ones. That's only one as well. Dice. It's two nice ones to serve. I think he's considering the re-roll, the greedy bugger. Yeah, I think he was. Nah, I don't think he was, but I think he'll have hovered over it for the fans. Because <laughs> it's also that cuts off his route through. He's now going to have to have the annoying. He's got three turns, hasn't he? You know what? You know what? Yeah, I he's think got he hadn't done that against the high right off. Like, I reckon he might have re rolled that. <laughs> I just think, because obviously what happened the other day. Yeah. You can block this guy, can't you? And then, and then you can 3D him. Yeah. Yeah. Two D him, and then if it's a power, you it get does. three D. Yeah. That's stunning. It also, it also, if you power it, you can just power him onto the wolf and leave, and then push the white where you want it, which is on the um, right in front of the column. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or you take the three D on a power. I mean, you've got choices, but I preferred it that way. <laughs> it could be worse if a truck crushes his door and hits him. Yeah, that's fair. Fine, it couldn't be much worse than this. Wouldn't change the board state, no. But yeah, would I would have followed up right. there. Wow, really? Yeah, I would have done. With the ball? Yeah, I think I would. I, I would have done, I would have done the, the zombie hit first, just so I'd have got three dice on that. Yeah, but if, I'd well, certainly, maybe I mean, got I three dice. Have, yeah, I'd have been taking the decision after the zombie hit, so. Yeah. But this way is safer, isn't it? Because you don't have to do the blockless block first. So it's... It's interesting. Oh, I think I had the yeah no I had the wrestle and the DP the other way around in my head. No, I wouldn't have followed up, obviously. Oh. If that was the DP, I would have done. Cheeky one Look at that. Yeah. And then oh him. my days. <laughs> still not not the worst fail state on it. <laughs> if it failed, that white was still tagged and the zombie couldn't go anywhere really. So. Plus, it was pushing it where I wanted it, which was in front of the flesh column. Mm. So I, I didn't hate that. Wow. Just concede, Aldre. <laughs> well, he's got four. The problem is, he's got a bench, so it's nowhere near a legal concede, is it? Oh. Can't concede a chalice, mate. Well, why not? Chalice is the best place to concede because then you get to, then you get banned for three whole seasons. You don't have to play Blood Bowl for. <laughs> um, if I'm playing a game, of, a game, I decide I can concede. I can concede, no matter what the consequences there are. It remains my choice. Oh yeah. People have a right to their rules, and we have a right to take our own decisions. Hmm. Big foul. Huge well, he foul. needs to. Yeah, he needs to turn the the tide somehow, ready for the second half, doesn't he? So. Yeah, yeah, I like that foul. That was a good move. Even if he gets him his dirty player surf because of it, which it will. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Anything um, that gives you any. I mean, it's it's about removing the good pieces. Oh yeah, yeah, it was the right play. Now he gets him served, and he gets the foul on there if he wants, doesn't he? Interesting. Would he go for the foul on the wolf? The strength for wolf. Well, I, I mean, I definitely. 
Oh, wait a minute. No, you can just surf the world. Just surf the world. Oh, my God. You just surf the world. Yeah, fuck surfing the zombie. Surf the fucking Yeah, surf the wolf. Oh, God. And I bet you Andy sees that. Well, yes. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. That flesh column's going around there. Oh, no. What with the white? Let's see the zombie. Doesn't matter, does it? Like yeah, that? put a zombie in behind because you don't need the pace. You don't, you don't want something like a, a useful stuff there just in case. No. The white's got the pace to cool, do it. I think I'd do it. No, maybe I could do it a cool white. It doesn't matter, does it? But the white desperately wants the SPP if it gets the cows on the zombie. Oh. Yeah, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Go up to 14, yeah. But no, it's not. Ah, uh, is he going to hand off and try and score on it? Ah, uh, maybe, yes. He has got two rerolls. That would make sense. Get rid of the wolf first, and then there's nothing to stop you doing that. Look at the score roll. Oh, classic. <laughs> what a legend. Uh, Andy has to be... No, he's got sides there, I was going to say. He has to be careful here, but he doesn't. <laughs> yes, Lehman Rose. Virgin Internet is now Aldrea's main, main route to victory. 100%. I, I think Andy changed it. I don't think he's got Virgin anymore. Oh, God. Yeah, well. It's fine. It's fine. Second half, the same thing can happen the other way around. It can, yeah. He's a golem down, but he's still got a hell of a team. He's still got two great wolves if he gets the other one back, of course, but it's the it's the lesser of the two wolves, and Andy's got the same problem, one wolf KO, so they've both got an important KO to make. He's got a deep enough bench, there's going to be 11, um, including, you know, all his good players survived the surfings, so the white's coming back, the ghoul's coming back. But Andy's got a wizard. Yeah, and the he does have better a better werewolves coming back. There's there's a wizard, sure, but and some might say he's a better coach than Aldria. I'm but just saying it, it's it. This is a long way from over. It's definitely advantage. It's, been, yeah, it's definitely not over. Yeah, it, this is not it's, over. It's yeah. Definitely not over. Aldria yeah, still not, has the best. This is not an Elliot not over. This is a real. This is a real not over. Yeah, but it's it's. I mean, that said, a good line of scrimmage and a good first turn of the second half, and it could be, you know, that it's an over situation, but it's not yet. Yeah, it's f bleak as fuck. Oh yeah. Yeah, bleak like a northern drama serial. <laughs> yeah. Or a Scandinavian comedy show. <laughs> no, that that that's the sheet, the gym sheet of paper that does. It says do farm SPP in a one nil game because you're one nil up, right? Like that's the thing. Don't farm it in a nil nil game or one nil behind. But if you one nil up, that's exactly when you yeah. can do the things. You know? Hundred percent. Win game first, develop team second, always. Yeah. Right, well, I have a feeling I know how this half ends. Uh, and my wife is just calling for a little bit of attention, so I don't know if Kalon wants to leap back in now that my intimidating presence has left. <laughs> but I will be off for a few minutes, Jim. I'll be back. Glorious. Assuming day. I'm wished for. If not, I will sit silent and wait for a moment. <laughs> of course you'll wish for peace. Oh, wow. See you. <laughs> oh. oh man, what is he doing? Hamas, holy shit. <laughs> Hamas is quite rude, isn't he, sometimes? Naughty boy is Hamas. Yeah. Full pow, instant full pow. Mm. This could be just what he needs to get back into this as well. Yeah. This, if this blitz results in three cars and a touchdown for him, he'll be right back in the match. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, it didn't. <laughs> it did absolutely nothing. Can't be just the two of you. Oh, hello, Diddle. Hello. hello. <laughs> How are you doing? Not bad. How are you? Uh, better than Aldrea, worse than Andy Diddle. <laughs> seen any GFIs recently? <laughs> oh, well, there was just one there, wasn't there? I have carefully not watched the game. I've listened to your comments and everything. 
It's been a massacre. It has yeah, it's been really I, one -sided. I could tell that I didn't need to watch the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Just got a little bit worse. <laughs> oh, I bet Andy's actually smiling. Uh, He'll be very happy with this yeah. after this yeah. gone. Yeah, this couldn't have gone much better for him. I mean, he was the slight underdog coming in, right? Uh, that's why I'm interested in from the teams. I mean, like, arguably, it's the first time he's been underdog in this particular chalice. On, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll put him underdog, yeah. It's probably been the easiest game he's had so far. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's funny, isn't it? It's funny how dice work. It is a dicey game, though, isn't it? That's the thing, because like, all, like oh. both teams have like four really good positionals that if they lose, you know, it's bad, isn't it? Um, yeah, they're really yeah, the wolf yeah, stays out. Well. So yeah, no, it doesn't. Does it? Yeah. Uh, Andy's wolf is out. Oh, it's so Andy's. Yeah. But the the, the white and obviously the fleshy that's dead stays out. <laughs> well, I don't think it's dead, is it? But it's whatever. It's it is. dead for the game. Yeah, hardly hurt. Yeah. But this is the third round, Ali Rader. This is the last. This is the last match of the round of sixteen. So the quarterfinals after this. This could definitely be Andy's Andy season. There are not very many good teams in it, and there are no former winners. So this is uh, this is looking pretty already. Good. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. There was none in the round. Yeah, the round of sixteen. I think somebody in the round of sixteen had won, but they lost. Maybe even before the round of sixteen. Like maybe it's the whole round of sixteen. There wasn't a former winner. I think there was none in the round of 16, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, because so. Kadani was in the round of 32. Yeah. Yeah, I think round, the whole round of 16, none of them have won. Yeah, a quick look. And I think, you know, PC's team isn't very good, is it? But uh, I guess iRavel's maybe got the best. Oh, uh, yeah, iRavel or Sadlad, I guess, have got the best teams. Sad yeah, lad's got an amazing so, team. Yeah. But it's still easy, it's just so easy to just get banged out by the Necro, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it is. So the, I think Andy's team matches up well against, like, you know, Dwarves, he's got the Claw, against the Gutters, he's got the, the Wolves, and against the uh, Chorfs, he, he wouldn't be favoured, but, you know, he could high roll. Yeah, no, against yeah. those Chorfs, like, the, those Chorfs are massive with the. Three stand firms, one of them is energy, so he's down to three stand firms, but it's also got mighty blow on all of his chorps. Yeah, yeah, that, that chorps on all of his chorps. It's it's just disgustingly strong. <laughs> oh yeah, and there's Elliot, yeah, there's Elliot with his 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 non existent team, but you know, that could <laughs> definitely win against uh, against PC. You know, he's got yeah. a super vampire that can do things. And then that team could definitely go through Iron Will yeah, as well. Um, it's possible. He's gonna have a hard time. Sadler, if Sadler comes uh, out on top of our hill. Mm. Yeah, but then he, even if he does beat him, he might be smashed to pieces by him as well, so it might be just yeah. a completely like, devastated team. <laughs> yeah, that is very true. Yes, it is possible for um, Andy Elliott final. Mm. They're in the different parts of the bracket. It is possible for a song final, uh, though possible is heavily air quoted here. <laughs> Ooh. 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 This is fruity. Ooh. Yeah. Suicide Wolf. Is Andy too relaxed at this point? One wonders, because this is a mistake, isn't it? This is an absolute was mistake. Was that Andy's wolf? Yeah, that was Andy's wolf. Yeah. Yeah, this is a, an ab absolute mistake. <laughs> this, That's this block. Crazy, yeah. And I think he should have blitzed there so to sidestep him back, <laughs> to be honest. I think that's what he's looking at. He's going to blitz with the zombie. Uh, Right, but he could have just blitzed with the fleshy, couldn't he? Like that's, I, I think the fleshy blitz is much better. I don't know what he's blitzing with. Oh, maybe he's going. Oh, he blitz the blitz the dirty player with the fleshy, so that at least he can't foul the wolf. Yeah, yeah. maybe that's maybe that's yeah, okay. That's, that's 
it's the least shitty solve here right now. But yeah, I would have liked to... <laughs> the, the Flashy Blitz is, uh, is tempting there, right? Mm -hmm. I think... Was it a GFI, the Flash Blitz? I and don't then... think so. But it is on Wrestles. Oh yeah, or... maybe it would have been. Maybe it would have been a GFI, actually. I think it was a GFI and then it's on Wrestles, so it's a bit iffy in that regard, but... This Not is... as if he is just pushing Not you. So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Death. Oh, so he's not going to follow, and then he's going to bring the flesh column up. Ah! Oh. Uh, first, he's going to blitz the blitz the DP round to protect him. Yeah, and then step and in next. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so that might be enough. And then now he gets to sidestep back to here, doesn't he? So yeah. Yeah. So then, yeah, the whole blitzing that was now is very unappealing uh, because you're gonna get guard locked on the second hit. I do think yeah. it was a bit lazy and crap though to, uh, to expose was, him like that was. and then you know he, he obviously solved it but I think it was. Yeah. And he can still just get battered by uh, you know by the wrestler you know. Yeah. Aldrea doesn't care. Oh yeah. man. This is oh, and then gets in on the first try. Yeah. Well it doesn't get him. Rowdy. Now Aldrea's This is the rowdy spot. Yeah. Yeah. This is typical Aldrea, honestly. Like Aldrea plays like a lunatic most of the time. And like and he he, he like he hated on me after it, you know, like and saying that you know, in the whole the whole uh, nations thing and like it was but he just he plays like a loony half the time, he really does. Yeah, I mean this is like he can no, it means the words, however much he likes, but this is, this is beyond Rowdy, right? He's just trying to high roll, isn't he? That's what he's doing. Yeah. Which, I mean, that is a fair strategy in a way, uh, given the situation he's in. 1-0 down on his right with the wizard on the opposing side. Um, yeah. But the problem is, is that, yeah, he can't afford to lose that wolf, because if he does, he's yeah. pretty screwed. Yeah, this is, but this is how he plays all the time. Like honestly, it's not just trying to high roll. This is Aldrea plays like a bit of a loony all the time. I'm like, I've, pretty much every match I've ever seen him play, I've thought, how how the hell is he seventy five percent win rate coach? <laughs> uh, but you know, that's just my opinion. And obviously, he is a seventy five percent win rate coach, so he's he's yeah, doing and rolling right. does like works most of the time. Mm. So if you stay on the 75% <laughs> dice rolls, <laughs> theoretically that... <laughs> yeah, like, you know, like, I, I'm not a fan of how, like, Inari and, and Chunter play, but at least I think this is a 70% coach, I just don't like how they play. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas yeah, yeah, yeah. Aldrea, I think, how on earth is he a 70% coach? <laughs> no yeah, offense. No, I, the, I mean, yeah, you you have to be able to like have some form of self awareness, right? Are you at the level of Chunter or uh, an Aaron, or are you not? Like that, the way you put it is a bit offensive, but yes, I mean the point still stands, right? And you have to be able to to know that yourself, hmm. that whether you're there or not. And I agree. And the more I play, the less inclined I am to play like Chunter and uh, and uh, an area place because it is lunatic. It, it is <laughs> risky. It is risky. Yes, yeah, it's more high risk, high reward. But that's mean that they still like they still play like the seventy percenters. Yeah, like, yeah. It's just it's just not what I would do. Whereas. Is this a is this a wolf blitz? Wolf on wolf. But when you push him to there, and then you've got two, and he's got one, so it's a two and a one, is it? Can he not hit with the golem? No, not really. Because if he hits with the golem first, then he can chain the wolf into the golem, can't he? But like he needs to he needs to cancel the wolf. 
And uh, yeah, just all that zombie just oh, steps yeah. forward. One yeah, square, and could then you yeah, could then yeah, that zombie goes in there, then he can just two D can. Yeah, and then he just chains him into the golem, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Table was basically baby chunter. Turns out he's Elliot three. <laughs> 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 That's what a whole season of Dwarfs and Orcs will do to you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Chunter, Chunter tried Orcs for like a game and he was like, fuck this. <laughs> Alright. They are like incredibly old. Yeah. Oh, we didn't need it. He didn't need to do that. Look, he could just push him into there, into there, so he didn't. He never needed to. It was never a frenzy trap because he just pushes yeah. him into the fleshy anyway, so it was never a yeah. frenzy trap at all. You didn't need to even need to hit with the fleshy first. Yeah. Oh, I thought that that's what he meant. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that de definitely is that loud. And it's about risk assessment in all situations, right? And like, I do play risky with the orcs as well, right? I do expose my ball a lot. <laughs> this um, is hilarious. This is just a <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Stupidity. <laughs> but you see, like, the careful evaluation that Andy goes through before he takes his wolf blitz. Yeah, no, no, Joe. Uh, counter does it within 10 seconds of his turn. <laughs> it's like, wolf blitz first, then think how to solve it second. <laughs> and yeah, his was a frenzy trap one, because it's too guard. And re rolled this instantly. I think he might be a bit tilted. No shit, you know. He had, a great, he had I, a great team and he just got fucking wrecked instantly, didn't he? Yeah, uh, I think he's a little bit... He just seems to not be taking much time. Yeah. I mean, the, the amount of risky players does depend on the team and, like, Skaven are always dicey, but still, you can still, you know, there's still more than one way to play them, isn't there? Do you know what I mean? And, yeah, exactly. It's, it's a risk assessment in every situation, right? Yeah, Inarian does not play Wood Elves the way Shawnee and Gadenic plays Wood Elves, you know? No. I mean, Gadenic still does win 8 0 occasionally, but still. <laughs> um, you know, like, they, st they can still, they still all play a bit differently, don't they? Yeah. And on the rats, say, I still. I'm still probably leaning more towards Chunter and, and an Aaron than I am towards the Gdanic. Even though I I think like one of the issues for Chunter and uh, their style of play right now is that currently like there aren't many vocal within the community that plays that way, right? Um but rather like the conservative um play style as this channel and it has Art's channel, who is very conservative. Yeah. And Elliot. Elliot's very conservative. It's like Rick. He's the most like outspoken, like rowdy play, but even though he does rowdy plays, like he, he's got a free pass because it's Rick. Yes. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's not what I'd have done. I would have pushed that into there and then this one and then and then you would have had the uh Chin in the fleshy again, if he wanted it. But I guess yeah. he doesn't need it because he's got that much more players now, doesn't he? Oh, I guess this well, way. This yeah, way, he's doing it this way. He's just gonna blitz and still got it. An extra, this way, he gets an extra free. Gets a free roll at powering him as well, doesn't he? This way. Yeah. Really nice. Finally found the correct deal of the time. Thanks. Didn't even get two extra if he gets but then he declines his own yeah, no, never mind. If he uh, doesn't pow, he can he can't punch the wrestler here, uh to then get the zombie as well. But then he if he doesn't pow on the first Yeah, one, he can surf it, can't he? He can surf it. Yeah, he can surf it now. I didn't even see that. <laughs> nice. Ah <laughs> This is the correct play. This is very much the devil play. 
Yeah. yeah, now he really needs to free the white up. Isn't it one into one? It doesn't. He no, if he ball, frees the white up, the he can use the ball carrier as well. It's it's really not that difficult. But he doesn't even need to free the white to do that. Yeah, he, he, he wants to free the white so he doesn't have to use the ball carrier, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's got options, but freeing the white is by far the easiest. Here we go. Yeah. So now the right, the white gets to go here, so it's two and two. Yeah. So it's two and two. He has two. to go on the sideline, doesn't he? Yeah. No. He uh, goes on the sideline uh, so that. Uh, sideline yeah. is, 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 side is two into two, whereas if he goes below the wolf, it's two into one, mm. isn't it? Yeah. Or he uses the ball carrier for the two into two. But even then, he uh, still needs someone on the sideline. Side yeah. No, this this no. is two into one. Yeah, I don't yeah. know why he didn't put, go on the sideline. Uh, just put the white in there. I, I, I guess. Well, you can oh, go now and go on the sideline. Well, he could have just done that in the first place. Yeah. And then the ghoul was free to move to other places, because I'm not... Yeah. I mean, it should be fine there, but... Yeah. And that's probably game. And I know that Eliod would be cross, but that probably is. <laughs> yes, it is, yeah. I mean, he can generate a two into two onto the white here with his wolf, which is the start of a fight back. No, that's not anything you do. Was it just really rubbing really this when it was just, just like... As you said earlier, Doctor Lloyd, like it's you said, it's thing that it's yeah. Oh, did you just re-roll that? Terrible. Yeah, just did the GFI really with the zombie, and it was two into two, yeah, and freed really your bad. wolf on the second set of hits. Yeah. And oh, that was just not. He's good. given up, and he? he's just checked yeah. out. I think. Yeah, yeah, he's a better coach than that. Very obvious. Put your wolf into huge trouble. Move. Hmm. Well, I, I mean, maybe I only watch 25% of his games because I do. I still remain clueless as to how he's a 75% coach. <laughs> but I mean, he did get banged on by the dice here, didn't he? For sure, like the, the yeah. rock, the rock, and then the two wrestle hits, like that destroyed his LOS, and then obviously Andy did all the right things. Lost all my And he's yeah. so safe here; he can even start with some unsafe stuff if he wanted to. Like, I might have done the zombie right above the ball onto the zombie with wrestle just to put that wolf somewhere where its sidestep wasn't a sort of thing and I could control where it went. <clears throat> but it's fine, it's sidestepping onto guard whichever way it goes. Oh Sides man. Sidestepping into death wherever it was. Yeah. Oh no. man. Didn't die. Oh man. Well, didn't die yet. Yeah, it might get fouled. Yeah, oh, it's probably going to fouled. I mean, he's just opened up the sideline as well, so he's through now. Yeah, it's just, just, it's. Yeah. Yeah. The the only challenge left for Andy is not to check you out just because uh, of Reyes checked out. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, uh, when you say checked out, you know, even the worst coach can suddenly spring back into life given a half chance. So it's about yeah, exactly, it's exactly. Chance. That's what I meant. Yeah. So if 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 Andrew if Andy actually checks out, then that improves the risk of like giving up a half chance, and then suddenly Old Ray is gonna wake up. <laughs> <laughs> harsh. Too harsh. No, I'm just like imagining both of them in a hotel and one of them's in a coma. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone's checking out and waking up. <laughs> yeah, this has gone really well for Andy. Yeah, yeah really well. Yeah, this was a this was a big a big hurdle to overcome, and it was yeah, I reckon was, like, on, much, on paper this was looking horrible. Well coached necro team, and at the moment his damage is totaled a knocked out wolf. <sighs> this is a bit mental, isn't it? A little bit rowdy. I yeah, move this guy first. Right. This guy's got to go in front, hasn't he? So just do it first. Yeah, I I think that was. A very late move on that zombie that I don't quite understand. I think uh, he should, uh, deemed it this, like it if, if it's a send off for not an armor break, I think he needs it eight. on the back. I'm a four plus three wolf. plus from a swan die on the ball here. No. So if he'd gone with the golem there, then that white could have blitzed the ball one die on a three plus four plus two two. <laughs> 
And at this point, that's probably decent odds for this team. It's yeah. still looking for a six at the end. That's like, I know, that's but still, point. still the best and you're getting served get because of it. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's not going to get anything else. There's downsides. Yeah, it's, there it's terrible. It's terrible, but it's still the best thing he's going to get. Yeah. Some might say when things get this bad that it's over, but uh, Elliot doesn't. Well, look, I mean, let's look at the upside. Andre is trying the opposite thing, which is he's trying everything he can to try and get numbers back at his advantage, including that ridiculous one, one die with the goal. But that was a 50% ball because it was against a no-block piece, so 50% of the time you knock it over. Which is a chance to chip a piece, which is a chance to push it onto the golem, onto Mighty Blade. There's all sorts of good about that, but it failed. And now Andy's got all the space, all the dominance, and the ball, and all the pieces, and a wizard. So, yep. Thanks is he a right everyone. Person? Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. Stay fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely glorious. <laughs> well, two into one won't go. I mean, both Eliod and Andy can't win their first chalices, can they? So, mm. there are of course six other people that want to say in that. But are you talking about yourself now in third person, easy? <laughs> no, I was talking about five other people and me. Uh, <laughs> so you're not saying that you're six other people? <laughs> no. Oh. Cheeky send off. Yeah. You're handing off to the white. Who can like level here, Bradley? Yeah, the, the white goes to 15. That's all you do, I think. Rick would throw the pass, it. man. Yeah. I might even try the pass here. I'm in such a dominant position. That wolf is controlled. There's nothing else that can come for the ball really, and expect to get it. If I knock the white over particularly, I might try the hand off and pass back and hand yeah. off again. Yeah. Sorry, I just, just, sorry, I just assumed I would use my real on the handoff. That's the thing, right? Like, <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> still try well, pass. if you do, then you don't do anything else, do you? you stop well, that's what I'm saying. That, that's why I wouldn't try the pass, because I'd, I'd fail the handoff, right? One in nine. Then yeah. I'd one in nine the pickup on turn 15, <laughs> and, that, and then I'd hopefully, fingers <laughs> then crossed... Then it's still one, one nil, nine, and he's it. not going to have a scoring threat. Yeah, so. but like I wouldn't have time to throw and, and score, and right. that's all I'm saying. But the fact is, there's a whole pack of doom that, you know, the good golem that's alive is there, and the better ghoul, and the, a decent white, so you need to be more careful than that. Yeah, yeah, so you, you can't do it now. Yeah. You need to stall up and be play sensible, don't you? Yeah. I might have just scored, actually. And yeah. yeah. The line and everything else you might. Just sort of. you might I mean, the thing, the thing with scoring is that the strength wolf comes back and kills your team, right? That's what he's saying. No, right? you don't have a team. Your team sits in your touchdown zone whilst three zombies sit on the line. Yeah, if he scores in two, and you get the ball back, and it's fine. You still win. It's it's all cushy, except yeah, for a riot, which means you then put a bit of defence up. Yeah, you're actually or, protecting players by scoring. Yeah, which is even yeah. better. In so North this is allowing. This as well, like, the only thing that's not protected here is the white. That's not getting fouled. Well, I mean, it will all be protected in a minute because the other golem's coming stomping down to cut off access to the wolf, for example. I imagine. Yeah, that should be fine. It's too fresh, the white, as it? you said, it's the one thing that can get blitzed. There's a fleshy that can get mighty. I mean, he can mighty blow. He can mighty blow a fleshy, can't he? Yeah, but I'd rather mighty blow a white near the ball. Mm. Yeah, pretend that you're going for it. Could foul me. Yeah. This is, you know, so over. The guard zombie can get gang fouled as well. Record vanity pass for Saurus, yeah. Oh, Rick's pass when it was a nil nil game. <laughs> he he is putting the story down. fretted to say you can't mess around with vanity passes. <laughs> Good. Glorious. Well, now you definitely should just score on the ghoul. And just put three zombies up for him to play with. Yes. Oh. Because with an agility four ghoul to try and snatch the ball up, you're only one nil up. There is a scoring threat in. Just take the win. It looks like he's not doing that. Oh no, yeah, he's, he's handing off because he's facing everything. 
No, this is still okay. Aldrea doing uh, yeah. this. Aldrea is doing this. What's happening that I'm Dead? not seeing? <laughs> oh, he regen. See, but that's why he should have scored, right? That's why he should have scored. The guard guy, the guard zombie got killed. And that would have not happened if he'd uh, if he'd scored. So I, I did like the score. Oh, he's just scoring now anyway, isn't he? Yeah. Well, he might surf first. Yeah, he did. Might get him a few quid. <laughs> <laughs> Might actually punch with the white here. Yeah, it's probably worth it. Like, well, no, it isn't worth it. No, scoring's got to be the best. Because even if he has like five players this turn, he's only got two turns, so. You'd have to it's one turn and then blitz and. It's tempting to tackle mighty the goal though. It is, but it's it's it shouldn't be because you know tackle mighty. Yeah. Look, he's on mighty four. He's not going to level him. It's more tempting to hit with a white because he might get yes, a card and go white forward. might get a card. Yeah, but I mean, you hit the white with the white and then you blitz the goal with the wolf. Yeah. But why? Repunsies. Yeah. But what if you, you want what if you want to feeling? That's the thing. I mean, it's it's it. not correct, is it? But I mean, I I do the same, but it's not correct. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. probably <laughs> fine. I mean, it's such a dominant position that it really would have to go hugely wrong from here. Yeah. But you want that good feeling of killing something now that you've dominated and the cast box is still only one dude. <laughs> yeah, like the most important dude on turn two. Yeah, <laughs> but it doesn't look like it. Everyone knows it's a dice but you can't feel, you can't see the dice <laughs> after the game. And I don't know how many players regen, there must have been a couple of regens in yeah, there as few, well. Yeah, a few, yeah. Are you saying that Andy's the one that got diced? No, I'm saying Andy cares <laughs> more than one person. I'm, like, he's definitely cares more than one. Yeah. And he's regened himself, hasn't he? Yeah. I do think this is a mistake though, like just natural stalling, you know, like kind of out of habit, like yeah. I did it in, uh, yeah, in the GG the, tour, you know, like I just didn't think and I just stalled. And was like, He's oh, probably thinking that he can avoid the LOS hits, maybe that's what it is. Yeah, but it's just look zombies, look at his bench, he's, he's, he's got three avoid, completely yeah. skillless zombies. Oh, he's standing off. Oh, okay, yeah, well that makes sense then. Stalling the handoff makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you could that 3D wolf this is guy. Technically in range, there, this, you know. Yeah, he passed turn. Yeah, he just ended the turn, yeah. Yeah, I think he was. He could have 5 3 1 d Like, this yeah. is probably his best chance if this guy wasn't stunned. Was, yeah, because that was actually, like, something I thought about. Because, like, even an uphill on that point. But if he wasn't stunned, I wow. wonder if Andy would have done the handoff. Get it out of bounds. Incorrect. In, no, bolting the handoff is, is. Bolting the wolf is terrible because. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, if you. <laughs> It's not terrible. It's, it's not terrible. But it's because you tune them up and there's a riot. Yeah, 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 there's a riot. Because oh, he is what? doing this fucking about, yeah. Oh no, don't do that. But that's what. The minute he bolted, he was obviously going to do it, Andy. Yeah, but that's terrible oh because now he gets God. no SPP instead of three. Like, that's why I would have just scored to get 15, you know, and then you're a also, it, it's the that. wrong turn to do it, isn't yeah. it? Because you can't have it back and score. So yeah, it would have been exactly. one instead of. Three. Yeah. That was so bizarre. That point, that. You oh, maybe he was going to try and chain some. Maybe he was going to try and chain him in. Oh, hand it back and chain him in. Yeah, that would that, have been that, really that sexy. That would have been glorious. Yeah. I don't know how realistic it was. Do you know what I mean? But like, it's it's something. Was there anyone up standing up near there to do it with? <laughs> no, but he's got two wolves, hasn't he? So it was potentially possible. <laughs> it was. Po oh, and he just rolled MVP on him. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh there we God. are. Yeah. Solved it, got himself a tackle or a mighty blow, or whatever it is he wants. <laughs> Disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> An evening that, yeah, very much everything went Andy's way. Everything's yeah. coming up Davo. Yeah. Well, there you go. That was that was something, wasn't it? It was a bit of a comedy mega dicing, but I do think, uh, you know, Andy played. Andy played great, but. Yep, pretty much perfectly. It's easy to sail well when the wind's behind you. Yeah. But still, other people wouldn't have. So no, know. no, he he looked at everything, asked of him extremely professionally and well, and took advantage.
Yeah. So there you go. Commiserations, Aldre. Congratulations, Andy Devo. Thank you very much. Daedle Quist, Dimmy G, and Purple Chest. Absolutely glorious of you all to be on. Thank oh, you so much for my apologies and best wishes to Kalo. Amazons. <laughs> we'll never win, shall it? <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>